In this measurement video, we're going to demonstrate how to get the Cobb angle on a scoliosis. Um, now, our patient doesn't have really a scoliosis, so we, we will take the measurement anyway, and we're going to show you a graph that basically shows how this measurement is taken. We don't need the ruler, so we're going to pop the ruler off for this measurement, and you can just pop that into your pocket for later use. In order to take the measurement, we need to identify the first vertebra in the scoliosis and then find the apex, typically, if you're making the measurement, and then you want to find the last vertebra that is twisted. So it, it's maybe a little difficult in a patient that doesn't have scoliosis, but for demonstration purposes, this is what we're gonna do. So you press the button to get your blink and zeros. You come to the top of the scoliosis. You align the device with the spine. You press the button to start the measurement. And then you're going to come around the curvature and you're going to find the base of the scoliosis so at the, the last vertebra that is out of alignment and you press the button and you get the Cobb angle now the diagram that we're showing now on screen that shows where you have this twist now typically this measurement is taken using a an x-ray machine and from the x-ray you basically measure out at 90 degree angles from the beginning and the end of the scoliosis and then you find the Cobb angle uh, by taking a small calculation in the middle. What you can see from this diagram is that we can actually get the same Cobb angle, we get the same measurement just by simply using this device on the spine, saving a lot of time and a lot of money for our customers. If you take a look at the measurement poster, you can see that this measurement is demonstrated on the top left side of the poster.